In the 18th century, the government of Spain established Catholic missions in what is now Texas and the American Southwest to expand its influence and convert native tribes to Catholicism. Five missions were set up in San Antonio, Texas, where they were fully functional religious sites for six decades. National Parks traveler Micah Meyer recently visited all five sites. Four are part of the National Park Service. Mission Espada is the farthest south. Each of these mission sites tells part of the story in a different way, depending on how much of the site has been preserved. And then Micah moved on to Mission San Juan. The outlying walls and buildings you can see showcase where the religious figures would have lived, where the students would have lived who were being taught by the missionaries, and what a lot of the daily life would have looked like for these early Spanish colonizers. And what life must have been like for Native Americans under Spanish rule. Some people would say they stole their culture from them. Other people would say they provided a means for survival in a changing world that was no longer nomadic and that was becoming agricultural. It smells wonderful in here. Services are still held at Mission San Juan and the other churches in the National Historical Park. Micah continued north. Here at the San Jose Mission, it's a little easier to visualize what it would have originally looked like at these San Antonio missions. A closer view of the church, which would have served as the cultural hub for this mission. This would have been the center of life funded by the Spanish government and managed by the Catholic priests. Next stop, Mission Concepcion, believed to be one of the oldest original stone churches in America. What's really incredible about these sites are how well intact and preserved the churches are. Micah ended up at San Antonio's most famous mission. Here we are at the Alamo. Mission San Antonio de Valero, more commonly known as the Alamo, is the site of the 1836 battle when the Mexican army attacked the mission, killing all of the defenders, known at the time as Texians. The deadly siege motivated many Texians to join the Texian army, which defeated the Mexican forces the following month at the Battle of San Jacinto. Today, the nearly 300-year-old compound is the state's most visited landmark an enduring symbol of independence in Texas, two centuries after Spain lost most of its influence throughout the Americas. All five missions were designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 2015. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.